What's up guys, I am back and iOS 13 beta 3 is almost here and in this video we'll talk about everything we know about it so far. So let's start with the release date and if you know Apple and their beta release cycle, you know all the updates come two weeks after the prior update. So we got beta 2 last week meaning beta 3 should be next Monday which is the 1st July. So beta 3 for iOS and iPadOS will drop on 1st July. Okay so now let's talk about the features we can expect in iOS 13 beta 3. Now you know beta 2 introduced a new camera portrait mode lighting and that's good but for beta 3 we're expecting some level of implementation for sign in with Apple and some bug fixes which I'm going to talk about in a second. Now beta 2 is very smooth and public beta 1 is actually based on developer beta 2. So public beta 2 will be on developer beta 3 and you can expect a lot of minor tweaks with public beta 2 and developer beta 3. So that is something we're looking for and there are no specifics for the new features that we can expect in this update but I think Apple will start pushing out arcade mode which is for fall but we will see more games and stuff pulling out and we will see some stuff regarding sign in with Apple with this beta update so that is something you have to keep your eyes open for. But now let's talk about all the bugs that are in beta 2 that should be fixed in developer beta 3 one of which is this annoying camera bug. Sometimes the camera tends to just go black in every application and I cannot use it and then I have to restart my device to use it so I think beta 3 should consider fixing that problem. Another problem is the toggles in control center don't act normal and I think Apple should consider fixing that. Another thing is the battery life in iOS 13 is awful. The battery optimization instead of making it better is degrading the capacity of the battery and I think Apple should focus on that as well. Apart from that applications should also be supported supported by now because the public beta is out meaning developers should be pushing out updates to make sure all their applications work properly on iOS 13. So that is pretty much it. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you and if it did please give it a big thumbs up. I have a giveaway coming really soon so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Until then please like comment and subscribe. Peace.